Welcome back to another virtualinstructor.com video tutorial. Um, today we're working with the program Adobe Flash CS4 and I'm going to show you how to do uh, a basic um, shape tween and also um, a basic classic tween. We want to open up a, a new Flash file and just choose ActionScript 3.0. Um, this area right here is um, basically your picture plane. I like to think of this as your TV screen. Everything that's gray is not going to be seen, and everything that's white is going to be be seen uh, in your finished animation. Um, up here, you've got your timeline. If you don't see your timeline, you can go up to Window and and select Timeline, or you can just um, hit Control Alt T. That's a shortcut for timeline. Um, all these right right here represent frames. Right now, my my frames are set up on 12 frames per second. And that means there's going to be basically 12 frames per second of animation. So, so there's going to be 12 little drawings for every second of animation. Um, but since we're going to be using tweens, we're going to let the computer do most of the work. Um, the first tween we're going to do is uh, going to be a classic tween. It's just going to cause one object to move from one side of the screen to the other. Um, so we need to draw that object first. And I'm going to um, select the oval tool here. I'm going to hold the shift key down and pull out a circle. And I'm just going to make the circle move from one side to the other of my picture plane. Now, you'll notice when, when you draw the circle up here in this keyframe, a little black dot comes up. And that tells us that that keyframe has something in it now. And that's the circle. So we're going to go down our timeline. We'll go to, let's say, frame 20. I'm going to right click in frame 20 and I'm going to select insert a keyframe. Okay? And you'll notice right up here with the timeline that fills in gray. Now I'm going to go back down um, to my object. I'm going to select my object right here. And then I'm actually going to hold shift and I'm going to nudge this. I'm holding down shift and I'm hitting the arrow keys to nudge it in a straight line all the way across. Now, if we were to play our movie right now, this is what it would look like. Um, you can hit Control Enter to export it, and it'll export your movie. And you can see it just is there for a minute, and all of a sudden it flashes over there. So we've got to put a, a tween in between, um, a tween in between, to to show that movement. So we'll go ahead and close this. Um, now I'm going to insert a sh uh, classic tween right here, and to do that, I'm just going to right-click in that gray space. And I'm going to select Create Classic Tween. When I select that, um, my, my bar turns purple, and there's an arrow in there now. And it might be hard for you to see, but if I scroll back and forth on the timeline, my, my circle is actually moving back and forth. So now when I export it, it moves smoothly from one side to the other. All right, and that's, that's basically how you use a... Uh, classic tween to create movement in a flash animation. Now the next tween I'm going to show you is a shape tween. And a shape tween um, is going to cause a change in shape. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close this file. It's going to ask me if I want to save the changes. Nope. And I'll create a new file. And we have our timeline up there. And so in the first keyframe I'm going to draw, well, we'll draw another circle. So I'll hold the shift key down and pull out that circle. All right, this time we'll go back to our timeline. I'm going to go to frame 20 this time. Right click. This time you want to select insert a blank keyframe because we're going to create a different shape. So we're going to draw a new shape in that blank keyframe. So I'll select insert blank keyframe. And you'll see it's a blank keyframe. There's nothing on our screen. Now, just to be fun, I'm going to pick a different color, because so it'll also change the colors. I've chosen a green, and now I'm going to create a different shape, a rectangle shape, in a different part of my picture plane. I'll hold down shift to keep the proportions correct. All right. So if we were to play this right now, remember I'm hitting control enter to export my Swift movie. This is what it looks like. Circle, and then it flashes up that green square. We want it to change slowly from that black circle to that green square. So to do that, we'll go up to our timeline. We'll right click anywhere in that gray space. This time we're going to select create 
shape tween. And now a green, um, our bar turns green and there's an arrow up there. And we can see what happens right here on, on frame 11, somewhere in between. You can, it's kind of transforming from the circle to the square. So if we hit control enter and export that, we can see what happens. Okay, it's turning from the black square to the, or excuse me, the black circle to the green square. And that's basically how you use a shape tween and a classic tween to show some simple movements in Flash CS4. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.